You're getting over him, and I'm getting over her. The eyes have it, babe. Ain't gotta say a word. Wakes up last Misery night performing his new song, Came Here to Forget, at the Academy of Country Music Awards. Now, a lot of people think that song is about his relationship with Gwen Stefani. It's a good guess. <laughs> Pretty good guess, Lara. Pretty good guess. <laughs> well, you should know you sat down and talked to her. I did indeed, George. They are a couple that appears to find inspiration in each other. Stefani admitting her new single, Make Me Like You, is about Blake. And it's not the only song she's written lately about her love life, past and present. Stefani's 13-year marriage to singer Gavin Rostell ended in a very public way this past fall. But she found love with a certain co-worker. And you can almost feel it happen as you listen to her new album, which she says is all all about healing and new beginnings. You've gone through a lot. I have gone through a lot, but I feel like you have to be grateful for that because if I didn't do that, then I wouldn't have this. And it's like, you have to be grateful for all of it. Taking the pain and turning it into such creativity. How did you channel that? I think that I just, I, I felt like I was so, um, I was so like kind of, I felt like I can't even find the words. Oh my God. I, I was embarrassed and I was, I felt like, wow, I can't go down. Like, I don't want to, this is not who I am. I'm not going to fail. I had to make something good out of it. So I, I tried to, to write because I know that that was my gift. And I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this into music. Is that how it was with the writing of it? Because you're so excited about this album and some of these songs are hot off the presses. They're two months mm -hmm. old. Yeah. They're just coming out. It was magic. There was magic in the room. I was put in the studio by my label. Like, I, I didn't care about anything. I was just literally trying to get up in the morning. And I got there and I just said, I just want to write a record. I don't care about anything except for getting this out and like healing and, and, and being honest and real and truthful. I don't care what style it is. I don't care about being on the radio or charts or anything. Like, why does why would that matter, matter to me at this point? Like, nothing matters except for just trying not to die right now, right. so. Can I ask you about the first song you wrote? The title is Red Flag. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean to you? <laughs> I think we all find that there's red flags that we ignore in our lives, and so that was kind of that one for me. How painful was it, putting your it's heart on paper? It's still painful. And... Like it's, it's, I'm still like looking at the pieces going, what is happening? You know, there's so many great things, but it's still super hard to like, have your family break up. What do you do after that? Like, here we are, we're doing it. Do you think the music saved you? For sure, like 100%, 100%. Make Me Like You, it's been said as inspired by a certain coworker. It's such a happy song. How quickly did you write that? That song was one of my favorite songs to write. It just came out, it was like, I had been feeling that way, like it's just exactly what I felt that day, and it just psh, it was exactly like in my busy cow, I miss you right now, psh, here it is, you know what I mean? And everybody in the room was just kind of like, whoa, this is happening right now, and it was written fast, like 10, 15 minutes, the whole thing just done. I wanna talk to you about the live video you did during a Grammy commercial break. Well, first of all, I can't believe they asked me to do that. You can imagine, like, there was never a chance for us to really run the whole thing. It was crazy. And to be able to do, like, live art like that, where everybody has, every single person on that set counted, you know what I mean? It was pretty magical. It seems like putting yourself out there feels pretty natural right now. It feels like I'm supposed to be doing this right now and sharing my story. And I really hope that this record brings pleasure and, I don't know, documents people's you know, lives in this moment, and I just, I'm so happy to share it. Thanks for sharing it with us. <sighs> Thank Not you. Me, Gwen <laughs> Stefani, and this is what the truth feels like is available now. Get it. And the truth hurt in some of the songs, and it's quite joyful in some of the other songs. Interesting chat point, the record label, as she's sending these songs, they're pouring out of her. They were like, listen, they're really uh, raw and a little angry, and we don't think that there's gonna be an audience for them. Well, cut to album released, and um, number one on the wow. Billboard 200. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's a very right from your heart. Yeah. And it's a relatable thing. So many people have gone That's through similar circumstances. That's what I had said to her. I know, personally, listening to it, I really could relate, and I feel like, Obviously, so can yeah, so nice. yeah, the openness yeah. helps. You say Blake Shelton or she just lightens up. You can yes, see. Yeah. it's really yeah. it's it's contagious. Happy. Her happiness yeah. and and well deserved. So we wish you the best, Gwen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And her performance uh, is coming up later in the show. Get ready. Looking mm -hmm. forward to it.